Ladies and germs, I'm proud to bring you my first ever V2 rocket in World War II. If you're living under a rock and don't know what that is, it's the nuke-like streak in World War II. You have to prestige each division at least one time, which will then allow you to get this 25 player kill streak. You can't use score streaks, you have to use your weapon and grenades. I'm not even sure if turrets count. They might. All I know is score streaks don't. I'm rocking the M1941. I'm playing in a game with my girlfriend Pow, and I got my first nuke. It's like she's my good luck charm or something, man. We were going so off. We legit played all day and all night. We just kept playing. I don't know how many hours, but it was seven or ten. We kept playing until the sunrise. And I'm just so glad I got him, man. When I was playing, I was doing everything in my power to stay alive. When you go for the nuke, it's not a joke. I wasn't rushing. This ain't no world record. I know it's not the first ever. People got it so, like, a while ago. Perfect English, Sean. You're really, you're really good at speaking and commentating. Keep it up. I was just super happy to get it, man. And I plan to get plenty more. This is a weapon that I absolutely love. After they nerfed my FG, you know, the beautiful FG, which shoots slow, they gave it more kick. So unnecessary because it shoots slow, bro. Why give a weapon that shoots slow a lot of kick? Now, this weapon that shoots fast has less kick. It's a four shot kill opposed to a three. This, the STG. And the FG used to be my favorite, but I still love the STG. And the bar is also pretty good. I'm going to be creating an epic class setup of this weapon. This class wasn't perfected since I was still ranking it up. And I, I just didn't have the proper attachments. Nonetheless, man, I was playing it safe. I would get a few kills near their spawn. Then I would back it up. It's always so risky when you're spending time in their spawn because they're going to catch on and they're spawning close to you. So there's several parts throughout this gameplay where I back it up just so I ensure my survival. World War II, what do you guys think of it? Are you having fun with the game? Because I know I am, bro. Even though we just had IW and the jetpacks and before that we had BO3, which also had the jetpacks. It's a super refreshing game. A nice change of pace. This Call of Duty is for all you COD fanboys and fangirls. The OGs, the ones who played COD 4 or World at War or even earlier. If you played COD games that didn't have the jetpacks, then this COD is for you. And, you know, the community is loving it too. This game is getting so much more support than IW. It's obvious. We all know that. It's just a nice thing because YouTube is my job. I do this full time. I withdrew from college a couple years ago, which was the best decision I've ever made. Sean, so now you're telling all your viewers to withdraw from college? Jeez, bro, what a good role model you are. Hey, if you're doing something that you're successful in and you're making money from it, continue doing that. Bro. I was on YouTube for five, six years, and for the first four years, I didn't make a dime. I made nothing. I do this for fun. I did in the beginning, and I still do now. And it's incredible that I can legit play video games, specifically Call of Duty, full time. Like, this is legit my job. So people that don't know what I do, they think I play video games all day. No, I play games all day, and I edit all day, and I do my marketing, I do the artwork, the thumbnails, you know, I'm always responding to emails, I'm thinking ahead. I have so many plans, so many ideas for this uh, this Call of Duty year, I'm bringing back a lot of series I had before, and I plan to upload regularly, consistently, within these series. If you want to grow on YouTube, you need time, you have to be dedicated, and consistent, which is the big one. Uploading consistently so your viewers can get in a pattern of watching your videos. All right, folks, I know we're kind of jumping all over the place. I'm just trying to commentate for the whole vid. 
I did not cut the gameplay up. I wanted to show you the entire raw footage and the way I was playing, which was super safe. Was not risking. There is moments where I hold my ground and I stay put because I don't want to rush in and die. I'm not about that. World War II time to kill is extremely quick. You'll die by a bullet. You'll die by a, a random chuck grenade. A shot in the back. I was making sure that no one was behind me. If they ever pushed up, I would push back so they're not behind me. Guys, look at that. The V2 rocket. Holy guacamole. Now, when it goes off, look at the sky, man. It comes down. Oh, oh baby, that glare, that glow. Bada boom, bada bing. My enemies are getting blown up by the V2 rocket. <sighs> wow. As you can see in the gameplay, I was only using a UAV. At the time, I don't think I had the con UAV unlocked or else I would use that too. I like just using the UAV in the counter because, for one, score streaks don't count toward it, and you get them so often, which just helps you find the enemies easier. You know, many people don't run Ghost, so people will be showing up on the map. And the beautiful thing about this gameplay is that I didn't die. I did not die a single time. A flawless V2 rocket. I don't know how many flawless V2 rockets you saw, but this is a first from me. Definitely stay tuned for more V2s, man, because we're just getting started. I'm telling you now, the more you play the game, the more you practice, the better you get, the more in tune with this type of combat system. You'll adapt, you'll overcome. Only the elite survive. Guys, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, smash that thumbs up button. More vids coming soon. 34 and zero. If that ain't a dope elite gameplay, I don't know what is, bro. Woo! I was so hyped. Thank you, pal, for being with me. Thank you for the encouragement. Thank you for the support. Ladies and gentlemen, we're approaching 1 mil subs. By the time you're watching this, I might be there already. Thank you so much for sticking with me and staying elite with the EE. -E. My name's Sean, also known as Elite Shot. I'm a COD fanboy and always will be. Yo, folks, I'm signing out. Peace!